What is up guys, it is your boy, Thunderstrike from Six Schlitzes, and today I come to you with the first episode of cleaning up my dog shit clanmates. Now, <laughs> I know this name is kind of silly, but I like it, and it was recommended by one of my clanmates, so <clears throat> I, I won't name his, uh, his real name or anything like that, but just so he doesn't get burnt for uh, not being PG-13, but... Yeah, here it is. Cleaning up my dog shit clanmates, episode number one. This was uh, taken from um, Six Schlitzes versus Annihilate last week's CWL War, uh, week eight it was. And if you didn't see the recap, uh, look at the recap for sure. It was a very nice war. This was one of five 10v10s we had. And um, yeah, let's jump straight in. This is the base. And first, uh, we're, we're not going to look at the at the uh, scout because the first ten on ten attack was pretty much the same as the scout uh, of course more powerful but it shows the same thing so it's coming in uh, this is jordan on Mich michael michelle i still don't know S probably won't ever know and he's coming with a few minions and the top minion as you can see triggered two teslas and a an air trap and it's going to come in with a few hasted loans to take out um the Tesla for one, and also distract a little bit. Uh, couldn't quite get that Archer Tar down, but it was very low health. Now, he's taking two Golems to tank uh, his Queen, and also the Bulwars he's gonna get. And as you can see, the Queen uh, does snipe the Inferno Tower, so that is a flaw in the base. Coming in with a few Wall Breakers, a bunch of Bowlers, and um, a Jump, Rage, and as you can see, the f funnel for the bowlers isn't quite set. So a lot of the bowlers, I think that was our four bowlers, are walking, which isn't good. But he still does have plenty of bowlers. And rage bowlers not um, under Inferno Fire are OP, so they do take out a lot of the base. Then he's coming in with one hound only, 19 loons. Or, or actually not 19 anymore. He had 19 at the beginning of the raid, but those are like 13. Or maybe less, I don't know. Um, rage and heal, but doesn't quite get it. Just doesn't have enough juice. And yeah, the sweeper, of course, is very pesky. But um, he didn't really have a chance to use his heal. Just because the loons died so quickly from the inferno. So we definitely thought that we needed more tanking. Uh, instead of just one hound, as you can see here. So next up is Darf Revan, our boy Darf on Ren, and he's coming in with a different, uh, different entry. He's gonna put his queen down differently. So he's gonna put his queen down up top. Um, not gonna angle her so that she can take out the Inferno, but he does want to clear the defenses that block the Inferno um, to open up. Hasting loans into the inferno straight into it so that he can Take out the inferno with loans instead of the queen um, Just like that this way he can avoid bringing another golem and Just uh, brings one giant to tank so here he doesn't doesn't get the archer tire down Which I think would have been a lot more beneficial. So he still hastes I think those are four loons in and I don't think um, Those are enough so he has to Haste, one, haste in one more loon just to take out the Inferno from his crash. And as you can see, his wall breaking isn't perfect either. He doesn't wall break the junction. So it only opens up to that one compartment. And as you can see, the compartment's already cleared. So the bowlers kind of take a walk. And by the time he puts down his jump, the bowlers will um, stray off to the left and then walk into the uh, into the middle, but by then the king is almost dead or actually dead Also remarkable to see here he used a wizard on the bottom um, bottom side funnel so that his uh, bowlers aren't gonna walk down there, so um, that was a nice little detail he changed off and It's coming in with the same Lalo pretty much also using a rage and a heal and two hastes and again, this just isn't enough. Um, used one more loon than he expected. Also, the kill squad wasn't uh, 
yeah, didn't get what he wanted to. So, things to look out for after this raid were, were wall breaking the Lalo. Again, the sweeper is just such a pain. So, in the next attack, we're going to be looking um, to bring a freeze. Also, funneling the bowlers on the left side was important. So, um, we scratched the idea of... Uh, going with this entry because um, the queen on the other entry um, Jordan did with the golem um, allowed the uh, allowed the queen to funnel the left side um, of the base so that the bowlers don't walk. So here I come in, I also fail, and I'm coming in with a golem instead of the minions, um, which is gonna bite me back in the ass. Uh, you're gonna see later. So the minions, um, again, one of the, the one minion up top didn't trigger both of the Teslas, which kind of threw me off. So I kind of had to scroll around and get the another minion down, as you can see here. And um, I used two giants instead of a whole golem to tank, and I'm kind of late. I'm also late on the loons, so the queen does get um, a lot of damage before she uh, finally turns on to the inferno. And as you can see here, um, the barracks is down, which was supposed to be uh, in front of the cannon because I used a bowler instead of a minion, and the queen just walks around. So that definitely was a mistake um, to bring a bowler instead of instead of the minions. So yeah, um, still funnel with the wizard down below. Um, I use less bowlers because once the bowlers get into the base, um, they they take out everything, like. It doesn't matter if you've got two bowlers less. So. Wall breakers don't get it done because the golem walked to the right instead of the left. That was also a mistake because I didn't drop the golem to the left of the mortar. Also a big improvement here is not bringing a poison so that I have four hastes. Um, and that, that means three hastes for the Lalo. The bowlers luckily get the inferno down. So that was definitely cool. But again, the bowlers don't quite get that deep into the base to take out the last expo, which is um, kind of important. So come in with two hounds, just like Darth on the last raid. And here are freeze, a freezing inferno, um, air defense, and the sweeper. So that definitely is a very high level, no, not high level, but high value freeze. And um, substituting the rage with a um, with a haste um, that I brought instead of the poison. But I think I was early on the heal, so my loons up top kind of sizzled out, and in the end, I didn't have enough loons to take out the last archer tower. As you will see here, the skeletons tracked down my loon and just assassinate him. And I couldn't get the uh, last archer tower. So, um, things to look out for after this raid were not bringing a bowler for the initial, an initial funnel. So that the queen doesn't um, go up top and walk around the inferno. And also the Lalo wasn't perfect. So that's definitely um, what we had to improve on. Next up is Harry or Dreedy on General Dome. And uh, this one was very close. Uh, we, we all thought he's going to get it. But yeah, you'll, you'll see. Brings the minions instead of the bowler, just as just like I said before. Army composition is pretty much the same. Also, not bringing a poison for the hound loon, um, just because the loon kind of just chases around the king, and that doesn't really like take away from um, from bringing a poison instead of a haste. So here he just hastes in the loons at the at the perfect time. Uh, Queen does get a little bit of damage from the Archer Tower, but it's not, no big deal. And here she does um, go to the barracks, which was needed to uh, to funnel the Queen. And she's going to take out Inferno Tower and Cannon for, uh, for the Boulder Funnel. So here he doesn't um, get the wall break done, but he decides just to let his Golem and King punch through because it was very low. So jump down. CC bowlers, and yeah, the bowlers kind of get stuck um, because he sent them in quite late, just be just so 
he can make sure that they don't walk because he had to punch through the wall. So the king gets out in front, takes all the damage and dies before the bulwarks really can start get to work. Um, so they also do not take out the last expo. The Lala was uh, near to perfect, as you can see, starting with two hastes. Still has a haste in the back, which he's going to use to haste into the Inferno right here. And back and heal is going to be enough. So here we all thought this is going to be a wreck because he has so many loons up. And he still has four loons, which is going to drop here on the Archer Tower, also on the uh, Tesla. And one thing he did not um, worry about is the backhand mortar. And this is really going to be a pain. So if, if he had one more loon to drop on the mortar right now, um, he would have had it for sure. Right now we also thought he's going to have it, but this mortar drags all the loons down there. And he's going to get no split at all. So the loons kind of do a weird, um, weird cleanup pathing right here, and then they go back. And yeah, this definitely wasn't uh, the luck wasn't on his side. Um, loons definitely could have split and like cleaned up the bottom side and the top side simultaneously, but he stops at 96%. So great try, Harry. And next up is Zin or Joker in the pack or this weird name. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. VR, star, 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 and whatever the hell. And he comes in with the same plan. We're gonna look at it at one time speed and just uh, enjoy the attack. Definitely was a long process to take apart the base. And definitely a very nice plan by Jordan and Darf. Uh, I think they were the ones who developed this plan. Definitely a um, very nice way to enter the base with um, in, with an Inferno down and the bowlers um, getting the queen and two air defenses. It really is pretty easy to take out a good chunk of the base just because the Inferno would burn down the bowlers so easily. But since the Inferno trade is so um, so cheap, it um, it's like so, so efficient to take out the rest of the base. So here he drops king and bowlers at the same time so that they don't get stuck on the buildings um, on the outside. Rage is up, and the bowlers are gonna take out the most of the base, um, as we've seen so far, only from maybe Jordan's attack at the beginning, because he brought two golems to tank. Lalo again, flawless, um, putting down the hastes at the perfect spots where he needs them. Freeze was also perfect. Another haste, and he brought a early loon to take out the border because he definitely was haunted by it. Back at loons has a lot of them. Are gonna do the rest of the job, and yeah, this definitely is a triple now um, because he still has um, so many loons up, and cleanup is already underway. And the cleanup process is actually very long, but because it's um, not Queen Walk or anything like that. The Kill Squad also doesn't take um, take away so much time. So yeah, definitely a team effort by all of our guys. Uh, Darth, Jordan, Harry, Joker, and a little bit me. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of cleaning up my Dogshit clanmates. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thunstrike out.